All right, let's look at the part two. Uh, here, uh, we are looking at the uh, uh, nth term of the sequence. <clears throat> and that's what we end up getting. So first, we realize that since every time it becomes one third, it is okay that we get one third as a common ratio, which is perfectly fine. Now, then to match the first term, when you, when you plug in one, we should be end up getting 54. When you plug in one here, we don't get 54. In fact, only there's only one answer that gets you 54. When you once you plug in one, it will be choice four. Now here, that this basically means we are looking at 5c2 plus 5c3 plus 5c4. Now you will realize that each one, this one is 10, so is this one. Once you plug into calculator, this becomes five. So our answer becomes. 25. Here once again, first time is sine of pi over 2 plus sine of 2 pi over 2 plus sine of 3 pi over 2. So sine of pi over 2, in fact, that's equal to 1. Here we get the 0. Here we get negative 1. So once you add them up, you will realize that everything will turn out to be 0. How about here? We have 3 cosine of 0 power, uh, 0 pi plus 1. Second one is 3 cosine of pi plus 1. 3 cosine of 2 pi plus 1. 3 cosine of 3 pi plus 1. So if you add up these plus 1s, we, we know that it becomes 4. But here, uh, when cosine of 0 pi, we end up getting 1, so this becomes plus 3. But when cosine of pi becomes negative 1, therefore the, this becomes negative 3. Here it becomes positive 3, and here it becomes negative 3. So these 3s all cancels out, so the only thing that's left is 4. So in this case, we are looking at... Uh, So in this case, we are looking at uh, n has to be equal to 4. So 4 becomes n, then we, what we end up getting is 8 plus 16 times k goes from 1 to 4 of 1 half to the 4th power. So if you have to evaluate this one, this one is 8 plus 16. Now, when... Um, k equals 1, we get 1 half, and next one is what? 1 fourth squared of 1 half, next one is 1 eighth, and next one is 1 over 16th. Now then once we, once we um, multiply 16 to all of them, we get 8, 4, plus 2, plus 1, which is equal to 23. So therefore, our answer is choice. Four. Let's look into this one. M goes from 2 to 5, then becomes when M is equal to 2, we get 3, plus when M equals 3, then it becomes 8, 4 becomes 15, and then 5 becomes 24. So here it goes. So we have, when you add them up, these uh, whole things, then we end up getting 50 as our answer. Same thing here, k goes from 1 to 3, so when k is equal to 1, we get 1. When k is equal to 2, we get 0. When k is equal to 3, we still get 1. So therefore, our answer is 2. Here, 2 is already there. Once you plug in 0, then this becomes 0, and then so it's 1. When n equals 1, then this becomes 1, this becomes 2. So it becomes 3. When n equals 2, then this becomes 4 plus 4 becomes 8. So you end up getting uh, 12 times 2 becomes 24. So b, so 2 minus uh, 0i is the first one, plus 2 minus 1i plus 2 minus 2i 
plus 2 minus 3i. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so 8 well, minus 6i becomes our answer. Choice 4. Now when n equals when n equals 1, we end up getting i to the 4th power. Plus, when n equals 2, then we get i to the 8th power. Plus i to the uh, 12th power. But you will realize that i to the 4th, i to the 8th, and i to the 12th, whenever the exponent is multiples of 4, you will realize that these are all equal to 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1. Meaning each time when n is plugged in, we get 1. So therefore, we have 20 of those. Our answer becomes 20. What is the middle term here? Middle term basically means x squared and y squared the exponents are equal to each other. Then the coefficient is simply 4c2. Here, 2 matches with this exponent. Or this exponent, it doesn't really matter. Out of 4 as, an exp uh, 4 as the total uh, uh, highest exponent, so we end up getting 4c2 is equal to 6, so we get 6x squared, y squared. The fourth term, uh, that means since the first term is when y is equal to 7, the fourth term becomes y is equal to fourth. And then negative 1 therefore also has to be uh, to the third term, and then it becomes uh, 7c3. Now, then we end up getting this is equal to 35. You can put that into a calculator and y to the fourth times negative 1. So we get negative 35 y to the fourth, which becomes this one. What is the 15th term in this sequence? As you can see, we are continually uh, multiplying by 2. In fact, multiplying by negative 2. So negative 2 is the number that which we are multiplying and then since the first number is 5 but in order for us to have first number to be 5 this has to be n minus 1 so therefore what we can do is since n is equal to 15 then we get 5 times negative 2 to the 15 minus 1 so it has to be positive first that's what we end up getting 5 times negative 2 to the 14th power. 8, 1, 9, 2, 0. So we end up getting choice 3. Becomes our answer. What is the 15th term of the geometric sequence? Here, as you can see, first term is negative radical 5. And then from there and on, we are multiplying, keep on multiplying by uh, negative radical 2 and m minus 1. That becomes our answer. So 15th term, that means this becomes negative radical, so it becomes negative the 14th term. 15 minus 1 becomes 14. Then this becomes negative radical 5. And here, uh, since it's even exponent, it becomes positive. Every uh, 2 as an exponent becomes 2, so we end up getting 2 to the 7th power. 2 to the 7th power is equal to 128. With the negative sign, it becomes negative 128 radical 5. So three roses will be selected for a flower uh, base. Uh, one rose and one white rose and one yellow rose and one orange rose and one pink uh, rose. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many different roses selection can be? Uh, uh, so three roses will be selected. That means we are looking at 5C3, which is equal to 10 if you if you have to put that into a calculator. What is the probability that three red or uh, three roses are selected at random? It will contain one red, one white, and one pink. So this is uh, one specific case, so it's going to be one out of total possibility, which is equal to 10. It will not contain orange rose, so no orange. That means we are selecting uh, three out of four. Then there is only four possibilities, so we end up getting four out of ten, which is equal to two fifth. That becomes our uh, probability answer. 
all orders of pizza and then two uh, different toppings here one two three four five out of five choices so uh, so far we are thinking 5c2 but Paul uh, will not eat pizza with mushroom so no mushroom so that means we are looking at one two three four out of four we have to choose two uh, but uh, determine the probability that Paul will not eat the pizza so no pizza means uh, it has mush mushrooms so therefore we are looking at mushroom is one of the two toppings that means we have to select another topping out of four so 4c1 out of uh, 5c2 meaning out of five toppings we're going to be two toppings at a time that will be given but since mushroom is already in there we just have to pick up one more topping out of four choices so we have one two three four five out of five mushroom is already in that would be correct so here 4c1 is 4 and then 5c2 is equal to 10 our answer becomes 2 fifth. All right, so we have three green and then two red. Now, he ate two candies out of the way, one after the other, without looking. What is the probability that both candies were? Same color. Same color, that means uh, one option is green, green, and the other one is red, red. Let's look at green, green first. Green, green will be uh, three out of uh, three out of five candies that will be the first green but since he ate uh, style ate one then we have two left out of four so what we end up getting is six out of twenty how about red and red first one has to be two out of five second one has to be one out of four which is equal to two out of twenty so when you combine them together we get eight out of twenty which is equal to two fifths all right, let's look at the uh, next question. A Lexus Walnut contains one $4 bill, three $5 bills, and one $10 bill. If a Lexus randomly removes two bills without replacement, what will be total $15? Uh, it's greater than the probability. So, Whether the problem, so we're looking at uh, total total being fifteen versus uh, total being two dollars. So how can you get fifteen dollars? Fifteen dollars is basically we can have five and then one. So we have to select uh, one out of uh, three five dollar bill, and we have to select one out of one bill, which is one C one. That means we are looking at total uh, three possible ways of getting it. How about uh, selecting two dollars? Two dollars becomes uh, two out of four. Total six ways for us to uh, get the uh, two dollar uh, total of two dollars. So therefore, we realize that uh, probability of selling uh, two dollars is higher than probability of selecting $15. Alright, so we are looking at once you plug in 3, then we end up getting 5 minus 12. That's the first term. Second one is 4, so 5 minus 16. And the next one is 5 minus 20. Then here when you add a 5s, then we get 15 here, and then when you are uh, looking at it, it becomes 48, minus 48, becomes uh, negative uh, 33. All right, that's what we end up getting. All right, next one, sigma notation. So for, uh, we will realize that each one is increasing by 2, so therefore, we are looking at uh, a sub n, for example, is equal to 2n. But as you can see, the first number is 3. Once you plug in 1 in place of n, we would have gotten 2. So you can see that we have to uh, add by 1 more. Then you can check that all those things would have worked out. So here we have sigma, which is 
uh, instead of using n, let's try to use i, then 2 i plus 1, where i goes from 1 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. Then this becomes this expression. So, uh, find the sum of the first n terms. So here we have, uh, first first number is 3 and the common difference is 4. So we are looking at sigma of 4n, or instead of using letter n, let me try to use another one, maybe 4k. Well, the first number has to be 3 instead of uh, 4 here, once, once k equals 1. Therefore, we need to subtract 1 for the entire thing, then even the last number, uh, would have been uh, 39 instead of 40. So when how would you get 39? So 4k minus 1 equals 39, then you will realize that k has to be equal to 10. So that's basically what we're looking at. And if they want us to find the uh, actual sum, so then first one becomes 3, and then next one is uh, Next one is 7, and go all the way up to 39. But how are you going to calculate this one? Uh, it will be quite tedious to calculate this. So what is the sum? Sum is, in fact, a sub 1 plus a sub n times it by n divided by 2. So what is sub a sub 1? That's the first value, which will be equal to 3, plus 39 times how many we have? We, have, we will have 10 of them divided by 2. That becomes our answer. So here it becomes 42, and then cancels up becomes 5, we end up getting 210. 210 is our sum. And then here, uh, once k is equal to 2, then we get uh, we get 5, plus when it becomes 3, we become 6, 7, 8. We just increase by 1, since coefficient of k is equal to 1, but up to 8 numbers. So. Uh, so total, uh, we end up having seven numbers all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now once we try to add them up, so then we get 30 up to here. 45, 56. That becomes our answer. N is equal to 15. So uh, what is the first term? First term is... Uh, first term is equal to 4. Then, uh, how do you find the uh, sum of the n terms of the geometric series? So in this case, basically, uh, what we end up getting is this. Well, let's call uh, this way. a sub 1 plus a sub uh, 1 times r, that's the second term. And a sub 1 uh, times r squared all the way up to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. So here we have total n number of terms. Uh, if you multiply everything by uh, r, then we get uh, sr is equal to, first term now becomes a sub 1 times r, second term now becomes a sub 1 times r square, all the way up to a sub 1 times r to the n power including this middle value, that means when you subtract it, sr minus s must be equal to a sub 1 r to the n power minus a sub 1. And here we end up getting uh, s then is equal to uh, a sub 1 r to the n power minus a sub 1 all over r minus 1 which simply is equal to a sub 1 by multiplying by negative top and bottom minus a sub 1 r to the n power over uh, 1 minus r. So that's the formula basically which we are looking at. That means first number sum becomes the 4 minus the last number here uh, becomes 4 times 3 to the 11th power all over 1 minus 3. 
So then here we have four minus four times three to the eleventh power and then divide by negative two. So we end up getting our answer is three five four two nine two. That becomes our answer. Alright. We'll stop here for now and then we'll I'll see you later. Bye.